five star reviewed Amazon bestsellers. This is one of the coolest things on Amazon I think I've found yet. It's a spinning globe that's powered by solar energy and the Earth's magnetic pole. Each unique design comes in three different sizes, including a stand for showcasing in your home. It would also make for a great original gift idea. Please don't let it show. Amazon bedroom finds. I'm not kidding, we never make our bed without our tucker tool. It saves my nails when tucking in the fitted and flat sheet under the mattress or into the bed frame and takes maybe 15 seconds to do the entire bed. Next we have my bedside clip-on nightstand that attaches without any tools to your bed frame. This is perfect for anyone who lives in a dorm or apartment and needs extra table space for your book, glasses, coffee, laptop, and so much more. It's super sturdy and the foam padding keeps it from damaging your bed frame. My top Amazon purchases, bedroom edition. This LED mirror has three different settings and you can adjust each and every one to your liking, which is perfect for doing my makeup at day or night. 
Next, I have this rotating acrylic organizer that holds a ton of stuff. Next, I have this cute little mushroom lamp, which is so beautiful and nothing like I've ever seen before. Then lastly, I have this acrylic jewelry organizer, which holds a ton of jewelry and best of all, will not rust or brass any of your jewelry. And to buy finds room decor edition PT five vape trash line two hundred thirty five Mickey Mouse doll line two hundred eight Chrome Hearts pillows line two hundred nine Supreme inflatable blimp line two hundred eleven Funko Pop line two hundred thirty six. Let's go. First thing was first, we had to take out this crusty, dusty green carpet, you guys. And this cost me zero dollars because I did it myself, baby. Um, first thing was first, you need to like pull it back and cut it into little strips. This just makes it way easier to carry. I did already have the painter's tape. You can actually just like cut a slit and then like pull um, a piece through to carry it like a handle. But my waste company did take this. So luckily I didn't even have to pay to get this disposed of, which was great. Now I did waterproof the floors and this flooring was part of a paid partnership, which I am so incredibly grateful for. But I want to let you know that these floors are very, very affordable. So although I didn't pay for them, they cost around $4 a square foot. And I would have paid for this room around $420 for the flooring. Now I did paint and that cost me around $50. I switched out the, uh, fan which cost me 159 the outlets and a uh, switch which cost me around 11 and I did add some shoe molding so I didn't have to take the baseboards off which cost me around $30 I then also put in like $20 of miscellaneous just for like paint brushes and stuff and so I paid out of pocket $270 for the renovation and $690 if you needed to get new flooring now I did spend another $340 on decorations and stuff including the bed and curtains which are pretty pricey uh but i did have most everything else so out of pocket i spent around 610 but if you needed new flooring this project would be around 1030.